Welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Kia. If you're here, please make sure you like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more content. It's Wednesday. Finally got around to mopping those floors. Y'all remember in the last vlog? I said I was gonna mop the floors on Sunday. Didn't do it Monday, didn't do it Tuesday but we get around to it. And that's just how we're treating ourselves all life long. Do you understand that? So right now I'm just working from home. I'm about to have a little lunch. I guess just keep working till the day it's done. No, it's cool though. It's been a pretty chill day drinking my, I drink my water because girl, I'm really trying to understand my eating because sometimes i feel like a, i eat enough but then sometimes i'll be feeling like it don't be enough and then i'll be feeling lightheaded but i guess it's something within me that feels like if i eat bread then i just feel like that's all i need to eat for the day because i really don't eat a lot of bread carbs um i've eaten more bread carbs and meat in the past week than i usually do because y'all know usually during the week, I just eat quinoa, vegetables, that kind of thing. And then on the weekends, I eat what I want to. It typically never still consists of like bread per se, because I feel like that's just one of the easier things to limit to, you know, keep your little figure in shape. I'm really working to understand my eating because sometimes it just doesn't make sense to me even when i am eating healthy and i'm like feeling my body all that kind of stuff sometimes i just be feeling like do i need to eat more but my metabolism has always been high and so sometimes of the month i feel like maybe it's slower and then i don't realize like when my metabolism is like more sped up and it's like girl you need to eat some more food because a lot of times it's like I'd be hungry, but I don't feel like eating. You know how like when you feel hungry and then you wanna eat, so you eat like, oh, I feel like eating this, I feel like eating that. Half the time I don't be feeling like eating, but that doesn't mean that I'm not supposed to eat. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Or is that just some crazy stuff I'm over here doing? <sighs> All right, so yeah, having my pizza. I already ate the soup. Something about this lunch just makes me feel grown. Like, every time I'm gonna eat pizza, like who eats pizza? Y'all be eating pizza? What? It was seriously like a flatbread and a cup of soup is giving very much Panera, giving much, very much like a normal adult lunch. Like I feel like these are the things that I grew up seeing adults eat for lunch. Like it just feels like something an adult will eat for lunch. You know? Pretty good though. Look people texting me. Beware. There's a meeting right now. Oh man, I thought it was in 30 minutes. Hold up, where's she coming to? Oh, we have a meeting? Why we got a meeting? Bye. Vroom vroom. It's foggy. It was raining. So just got my hair puffing up. I was trying to be cute, do a little bun. And a little side piece. But you know, we move. The nails are giving very much press on. Mm -hmm. Brittany did an amazing job. I'm so happy. Cute, cute, cute. Played a little hooky. Have a couple of things to finish up. Have y'all ever had a French 75 drink? It sounds like an old man's drink. But my nail tech told me to try it because she said that it was good and that a bartender put her onto it and it was like very light and smooth and it comes in like a flute glass and she said she feels like it would be my vibe. Hey there people, welcome to my lifestyle. Here are the nails of my current life. You do know that, right? I had to put that little piece of hair up cause it was frizzy and it's time for me to do my hair. 
the fuck is it gonna get done question mark i love a good french girl i was supposed to go get a drink or something i'm tired i'm not doing it i think i'm gonna go back to aldi and get that bellini and then just like sit outside and chill so i don't feel like doing nothing right now i'm tired and i just had to finish some work up and what girl what no okay yeah some packages delivered today to me but i couldn't get them because the leasing office is closed so i'll get them tomorrow part of it is i wanted to film a video for y'all um because my my microphone on um my big camera is broken so i've been using my phone to anybody that wants to start a youtube channel put it on your phone half of my vlog footage be from my phone sometimes i shoot whole videos on my phone a video i posted yesterday i shot it on my phone and just uploaded the files to my computer to edit it so you really don't need like a fancy camera you don't need a vlog camera i have a dslr camera that i've had for like the past five years when i first decided that i wanted to you do youtube and when i vlog i just use my phone and eventually i'm going to get a vlog camera but all these vlogs y'all see me put out understand it's on my Oh, okay. Hello, Pixies. Look at your head pixie hair. Looking pretty darn cute. Okay. Nose snatcheth. Face beateth. Excuse me. Exactly. That's what I thought. Very much proud of this face. Proud of this beat. I will be posting a short for this i keep doing concealer hacks because personally for me i feel like concealer really sets the tone for your makeup look let's unpack it's been unpacked i get it foundation that's like the smoothness and da -da -da, but the concealer is really what helps the look be at its full potential personally that's what i think personally honestly truly i'm happy with it so if i feel like it i might just go traipse around the city hello hello there people anybody looking for a cute looking for a cute to keep company nah. or i might just stay at home y'all know me you can go either way and go either way because tomorrow or sun maybe everything is on sunday maybe i have a chill day tomorrow but i know i have a baby shower to go to on sunday and that's in noon in georgia for my baby ace she's having a little girl y'all probably remember i went to her gender reveal now she's having a baby shower and i already got her gifts sent to her but i'm gonna probably go to the store just like that's what i could do because I wanted to go over there by those Rosses and TJ Maxx and the beauty supply store to see sunglasses. Because I feel like the beauty supply store might have like some sunnies. And I bought myself a bunch of classic sunglasses last summer. Like I bought like five or six pair of sunglasses. So I have a lot of sunglasses, but I want some more trendy ones and I want them now. And a lot of times the beauty supply store really be having stuff like the trends and stuff. So I can go over there, run to TJ Maxx or Target or whatever and get just like some little bottles or bibs or clothes to just throw in a bag. So I just have something to take to the party. And then I already got her her um, real gift off of her registry on Amazon. It's like this little baby portable thing to where like you can put your baby in it like say if you want to go to the park or just to have like a little sun anyways it's something that you can put your baby in and carry your baby around and your baby can be sitting chilling so i just got that sent directly to her house and not my house because she might as well have it at her house right i have one more meeting today and that's pretty much it like i don't know what it is about my lips they're just so cute and kissable just want to like ugh make out with me don't just calm down calm down look at this face though you guys can't tell me you literally can't tell me i got too much glue on my lash right here when i was putting it on so it's kind of stuck together 
it might look a little crazy but another reason why i can go to the beauty supply store and just like switch out my lashes but these were like ardell mink lashes and they're pretty cute i think so i got a new microphone for my camera which is good because my other one broke and now i can finally sit down film videos on my big camera and treat y'all right because you can make it work filming videos on your phone like you really can but it's a little bit extra and who wants to hassle when you can make it easy so boom this is the microphone we'll see if it works i think it's the same brand as the one that i currently have and i had that one for like three years and it's not the same style but i feel like it'll do Ooh, ooh, I'm strong. I look like Sasha Obama, but I've got the guns like Michelle. Ask about me. First of all, why did I just get off of work? It's 5.30. First of all, I hope it's not traffic because I want to go get some oysters, maybe some sushi. Ooh, that's kind of the vibe that I'm feeling right now. I think I'm going to go to six feet under. No, it didn't just do a thunder. Oh my God. And the sun is straight out right now and it just, oh, y'all, legit, it just started pouring rain right in front of my eye. <laughs> First of all, let me say, I should have lied. I should have cheated. Baby, I should have went out to the club. I should have just went. Mm. anyways fine fine hopefully the rain passes and i can go outside because my vibe was to go to a little rooftop i cannot believe that that is so funny this is like off of a movie or something they should not be having these people aka me these people working these types of hours and conditions like that is a very much abusive when my manager got on the phone he had asked me to do something we had to touch base i i sent him a gift of the hard knock life by annie when he got on the phone i was like it's hard not going for us and he's like you so silly and i'm like i'm serious why i was like i just feel like everyone's at the pool right now except for me and my little fingers are being worked to the bone <sighs> but i did call him um well he called me and i was in a nail shop yesterday but that's besides the points anyways i'm sleepy and i'm hungry and i'm gonna go outside and it's raining and the little girl is so cute. She's twirling in the rain. Y'all know I live by the pool, so I can always see everybody by the pool. But I'm about to figure it out. Friday. You. Yeah. Hey, y'all. I'm trying to adjust y'all. I finally have y'all back on my big camera. Now that. The mic came in last night i just ended up staying in the house and making the food that i had it's giving me have food at home period i actually do like that i like having food at home sometimes i get like really really good at keeping food at the house cooking and all that kind of stuff and then sometimes like i am not as good and then that's how i end up ordering uber eats what really happened was i think in my last vlog or two vlogs ago i told y'all about how i was drinking that water from the brita filter and it was like contaminating me and causing you know me to like not feel myself so literally i ordered so much doordash because i didn't have the motivation to cook or anything like that it was crazy so like the amount of money that i spent over the course of like two weeks it was just it was too much i'm like what like who even does that but you know it wasn't my fault i just ended up eating those shrimp skewers from aldi y'all need to try those like two things that y'all need to try three things that y'all need from aldi right now if y'all have aldi i'm sorry if you don't have it is that peach bellini so good last week i made breakfast sandwiches all week they have these brioche bagels the brioche bagel it takes it to the next level the brioche bagels are good and then those shrimp skewers the shrimp skewers are so good super flavorful it basically tastes like you're eating like seafood boiled shrimp and i'm not even trying to gas it like because i know when you buy that prepackaged stuff it don't be having flavor seasoning you got to add your own and stuff like that no like literally 
I was like, I'm about to save the sauce because it was like so much and, and create like those seafood boiled noodles that people be having. Next time I get it, I'm going to use that as the base to probably make those noodles, add the shrimp and add veggies and all that kind of stuff to it because it's just that good so i got a new audible credit not sponsored audible if you want to sponsor me sponsor me because i already am I'm talking about it very seamlessly integrated into the video i'm looking for a new book that i should purchase and anybody who knows about selling sunset so i look on here and i see christine has a book and it's just so funny because it's called like how to be a boss bitch like and that is just so hilarious to me. And then I clicked on the reviews and everyone's just like, I hate it. She's talking about herself. She's playing victim. Da -da 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 -da. And so I'm just laughing because if you know Christine and you know her character, like everyone like hates her, but then everyone's obsessed with her at the same time. Like I'd be like, Christine, you're crazy, but I like her because she's just Christine. Like who cares? But then it's the other character who's like, you know, Christine is her arch nemesis, Chrishell. She has a book too. And I looked at the reviews and it's like so great, funny, witty, sad, cheerful, all at the same time. Like everybody's like loving this book. Her book is like four and a half hours long. Christine's book is almost eight hours long. And it just goes to show like the different people that they are. And I think that is just so hilarious. I'm like, should I just use my Audible credit to buy Christine's book? But I'm like, no, I'm not about to. <laughs> I'm not about to play with her. I'm not about to play with that girl. Also, if you know me, you know I've always been like very entrepreneurial from like a young age. Like I've really been trying to like sit with myself and understand like, you know, different things that I can do for business. I've started to like, you know, invest. So I have like different investment accounts for me to be saving my money. That's good. Cause you know, everyone's always like, you need to invest, you need to invest. So I've started my journey of investing and so um, i also have some other things like in the works and i just think it's interesting to like hear other people's perspectives on money and what they do and how they got to the point that they're getting and this is one book by um this lady and i wanted to listen to it but then i read the reviews and it was this one guy on there and his comment said bye bye sweet 16 hello roth ira like what basically he was trying to say like um after listening to this book he's not going to throw his daughter a sweet 16 he's going to take that money and he's going to put it into a roth ira and i get that you want to invest in your kids future but i feel like don't don't take away a sweet 16 and then be like i'm putting money in your savings and you're gonna thank me later no you might give them that savings money later when they're 21 22 and because of the emotional damage that you caused them by not giving them a sweet 16 they're gonna blow it I and mean, you should have just gave them the sweet 16. growing up i had parents like that who were like so into like saving and not doing this and da 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 da, da. it's like i didn't have a sweet 16 like i barely got like birthday gifts or anything like that growing up and it's like not trying to be like you know sad girl or anything like that because oh, i buy myself the things that i want now as you can see it's just like I feel like you should be giving your kids stuff and saving for their future. I know everybody's like financial situation and stuff is different. But as for me and my house, we're going to be situated so that like you're having a sweet 16 and you're having like a savings account. Like what are you talking about? People have different perspectives on how to approach um, money and all that kind of stuff. But that's the thing about really reading and like kind of understanding yourself in relation to the content that you're consuming because a lot of people it can sound good she probably has a great best-selling book but that's not the way that I like to be talked to about money I'm not really a person that thinks that you have to like 
penny pinch sacrifice do all of this type of stuff to reach your financial goals do you have to calm down and not eat out so much not spend your money not impulse shop all that kind of stuff those are things that i've had to learn and work on and develop yes however depriving yourself for this greater goal i feel like that has like further implications on your mentality as you you know go down the line because it's like you have to know when to cut that off you know what I mean like I don't think that because you have this greater goal of like saving for retirement that you spend your whole life not living it so that you can live it in retirement like the life done passed you by in in your youngest years it, and and now you're talking about some going on the beach in retirement and you didn't withheld everything from everybody and no one wants to be with you or you like you just sitting here looking at a pile of money so i feel like you have to find balance in it and i believe that you can do both but that's me rambling not sure if y'all are interested in stuff like that but that's what i got going on right now so i'm going to pick a book from audible today i'm having my iced coffee then i'm just going to probably get dressed and just i want to get a smoothie bowl i usually get it from kale me crazy but i think today i'm gonna go to clean juice in sandy springs and i'm pretty sure they have smoothie bowls maybe take my computer and um just research some things that i've been working on maybe walk around and um yeah just kind of be outside have a chill day i have a baby shower to go to tomorrow and that's a drive for me so i'm pretty much just trying to chill today maybe i might make it over to aritzia but i'm really not trying to like coin it up with them but i low-key do need to go there anyways because i need my skin serum um i need some stuff from sephora i just need it um because i need it and i didn't go last week so i kind of need to go now and get like my skin products and so i might just pop in and see what aritzia got um but yeah, that's pretty much the day and how I'm vibing. Oops, cheers. It took a lot of hearts and just and learn how not to break down and stop, baby. No matter what I've seen in the past, I won't let it impact. I'll be grown out, baby. But you can't let it slip away. I drift away, can go to waste, go to waste time. Uh -huh. I say it's true, it's great day and place. Won't contemplate, you got to play that, baby. So here's the tea. I went to Trader Joe's because y'all know I've been reading about that Bellini. And I know some of y'all were saying y'all don't have Aldi. When I posted on TikTok, people were like, oh, I don't have Aldi by me. They have it at Trader Joe's. I haven't tried it yet. I'll come back with that update. They have raspberry strawberry, which I got. Bellini, mango, and grapefruit. So I got the raspberry strawberry flavor and I got the Bellini flavor just to try it to like make sure it's consistent. But y'all know Aldi and Trader Joe's is owned by the same company, except Trader Joe's has its own like brand and vibe and Aldi has its own too. Aldi like doesn't look as, I guess, fancy or eclectic or vibey as Trader Joe's, but you can still find some really good like high quality food items um in all the specialty items just like you can find at trader joe's hence why i was trying to put y'all on to the stuff that i was trying to put y'all on to earlier if you uh, want the vibes so go to trader joe's it's also still 5.99 so that's a plus and that's just so perfect for brunch because you can get like one of each flavor and spend like 20 25 dollars and have a cute little boozy brunch or whatever with your girls and not even break the bank like one drink almost costs twenty dollars some drinks cost twenty dollars um when you go places here in atlanta so i think that's a steal and i'm here for it i just mapped it and it says lennox is only 16 minutes away right now so i'm about to hurry up and go it's a lot of traffic on roswell road today in sandy springs but i had like such a beautiful morning at the juice place and editing so now i'm gonna go pick up my little stuff from sephora and probably check out aritzia period Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. 
Alright y'all, so I'm back home and your girl is tired. It's giving very much shop to you drop, okay? I'm just about to do a little, some hauls for y'all. These two new things from Trader Joe's. I'll taste the Bellini one just so we close this out knowing what this does taste like. But this was the Bellini I got from Trader Joe's. This was the Raspberry Strawberry. And it's a Prosecco with flavor. So... It's a Bellini. I had it sitting right here next to my Aritzia bag. So cute, right? So cute. Should I try this stuff on for y'all? Or should I wait for another video? Because I don't know if I feel like trying on this stuff right now. I already tried this on today. But I'm going to just show y'all what I got. This is the bag. It's cute. It's got this design. And then it's got this design. It comes in some wrapping paper that has this little design on it the little detail tag aritzia i never been to aritzia before i never shopped at aritzia i got three pieces and one of them is a set this top is the single thing that i got it's super cute it's like off the shoulder it's a bone color you can see this shirt is kind of like cream and this one is like off white more of like a grayish undertone but this is like really cute on me and i feel like this is gonna be really versatile a nice transitional um piece into the fall because i love to wear like light colors and like white and stuff in the summer but you don't always want to just do like white white they say you can't wear white after labor day or something so this is like giving you that light the lightest tan you see y'all i'm tired okay i'm tired next i got this top which is cute it can be a moment on its own it has like a collar it looks loose and it is but it actually has like a nice little fit to it like up here and then it like comes together it's so cute and i paired it with this skirt for a nice set moment you guys can see like the tennis skirt thing is really, really in, so I thought this was just a nice color quality. I'm really into brown. Again, brown was hot this summer, and it's also like brown is always going to be a fall color. So this is a safe piece that I can wear now, and I can wear literally whenever I feel like it all year round. Like I don't have to feel any kind of way. I can put this with a tight in the winter and style it. You guys know I'm about building my wardrobe, so I was trying to be responsible with the pieces that I was bringing in. Um, so just a lot of things that can mix and match and style with everything. That bone colored top literally can go with everything. And this skirt can be on its own as well as this top. It can be mix and match and it can be worn together. I did also go to the beauty supply and I wanted to show y'all uh, the shades. Don't sleep on the beauty supply because the beauty supply be having the stuff girl. Okay, so with that brown outfit that I showed you, I brought two pairs of like brown glasses. But I feel like these are more trendy like I was saying before. So I feel like these are the glasses. Cute, cute cute with the chunky like plastic frame part right and then this as a look together yes guys yes or no i'm trying to put together looks because i want to be that girl do you understand that these you guys know this like futuristic look i can't think of the high-end brand that has these right now but like how they're spaceship looking like i want to get an all gray outfit or like a gray tone outfit and be like you know what i mean like i feel like this is cute this is a vibe got another pair like the silver pair these are like the classic marble cheetah looking black and brown glasses but they look more they look dark brown or they look more black but these are the same style that futuristic it's giving very much men in black so i thought these were cute i thought these were a vibe and i can really like pair some looks and take some cute pics like excuse me she's her hello this girl means business what do y'all think do y'all like these shades are these your style your vibe do you think it's a good pickup yes or no next 
Sephora. Ding, 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 ding. From Sephora, I just got refills. Y'all have seen me use this stuff before, so I do recommend it. I endorse it. These are things that I actually love and that I've used. So this summer Friday's hydrating serum, bomb. Love it. It does amazing things for my skin. My I haven't had this for like two weeks um, because I sh I ran out and then last week got y'all know I didn't feel like going to Sephora. So this week I went to Sephora. Also, this in is free, very hydrating. These two together, like. It's really game changing for my personal skincare and I don't have skin issues except sometimes there can be a little bit of dryness and it combats it with the with the hydrating uh, products. So love that, love that for me. Target, I just picked up some stuff for Ace. Y'all know the baby showers tomorrow but I already bought um, the baby a gift but you know, I don't know, I just don't wanna go empty handed so I just got this cute little bag. Oh, so cute pink because it's a girl and then I just grabbed her like some face masks just some little and cute from Target and I also grabbed her this espresso lip pencil from um, NYX and also fortune cookie I got one of these for myself too because fortune cookie just hits fortune cookie creme brulee I'm dropping it and praline I believe they're all like a lighter nudie pinky kind of tone but I like all of those but like yeah fortune cookie is going to give you that light white pink baddie type of lip and if you put it with this dark liner a dark lip line with a light lipstick is baddie baddie qualities baddie tendencies baddie capabilities this is something that you need to know. I might as well show you my groceries. So, from Aldi, I got these gluten-free spinach wraps. Didn't really care if they were gluten-free, but I just needed a wrap because I'm gonna have breakfast wraps. And inside the breakfast wraps, I'm gonna put eggs. I found this chicken sausage that is already cooked. It's, it's smoked chicken sausage and avocado and um, tomatoes so that's gonna be good um also spinach i can put the spinach in there so i'm gonna have a breakfast wrap this is you know me trying to get my food together have food in the house and not be all over the place and having to purchase stuff no okay and y'all know this about me already if you don't know or if you're just joining us I am the type of person that can meal prep and I literally can buy groceries and pretty much eat the same thing every day. Sometimes I get tired of it, but that's why for me, I am the type of person that it is kind of better for me to grocery shop because if I have the foods that I like, I will just eat those. Um, and I really don't mind eating the same thing or like a variation of it in some capacity. Got more of these because y'all know I'm obsessed with these skewers. So they had the chipotle ones but this time they also had citrus herb right? Mmm that sounds good. Citrus herb skewers. So I can switch it up so what I plan to do for lunch or dinner this week. So what I would do with the shrimp is I could take that and put the skewers on top of these 90 second quinoa packs that I get from Target. Garlic herbs, so good. Love these. So the it will be like a bowl and it will consist of like the quinoa, the shrimp, some spinach, chicken sausage, cause I got two of these, like one for breakfast, lunch, or however I choose to do it. Um, so quinoa, shrimp, chicken sausage, um, spinach, and maybe like throw some tomatoes in there or something like that. And then I'll have like a nice little grain bowl for dinner. I also have like lentils in the cabinet. Sometimes I uh, throw that in there as well. So that's the plan. Um, that's how I eat. Y'all know that it's good. It's really cute. And I got popcorn, this herb seasoned popcorn from Trader Joe's as a healthy snack i go to napa at the end of the week so y'all might get that in the next vlog or in the vlog after depending because i'm going to see my big sister and big brother my sister and her husband live in california so i'm going to see them all right y'all let's taste this bellini i gotta start my phone for my tiktok it tastes exactly the same this one might have a little bit more of a prosecco finish to it and the other one kind of has like a little more of a juiciness 
but it's fine because like that's kind of what a Bellini is and when I first got this I'm like this reminds me of the RH rooftop so they both pass the vibe check and um yeah so head over to Ollie or Trader Joe's and try out the Bellinis excited to try how the strawberry raspberry one tastes too y'all so that's gonna be the end of this vlog um I am about to put the rest of this food away take my makeup off hop in the shower and wind it on down probably wash my hair and i think i'm gonna give y'all a shower routine video too because i have like some cute little stuff that i want to share with y'all as well thank y'all so much so so much for tuning into this video hope you had a good time kicking it with me don't forget to give this video a like leave a comment down below subscribe to my channel share this video if you care and follow me on my other socials at kia carry moo and i will catch y'all in my next video Bye. Cheers.